So maybe you've watched my previous cavalry tutorial, which was sort of highly structured voiceover based, all about sort of high level concepts. This is not that. And I'm gonna try and do a mix of those because right now I've got a deadline, 4 p.m. Uh, working on a project. I've got renders going on my PC in the background. I'm doing a cavalry uh, scene here to import into After Effects. Basically it's on the fly. So you might experience these kind of like less high fidelity tutorials, but hopefully that way I get more information out to you folks and also get more feedback because as always there's multiple ways to do things and uh whenever you're doing something in cavalry i don't know about you but i always feel like am i doing this in the ro in the most professional way here or am i doing some hacky job but that's kind of why the program's so beautiful is you can do things in different ways so if you find a different way or a more elegant way of doing this uh comment below I, my friend tristan young did that on my previous tutorial and i was like oh yeah i should have just done it that way when he mentioned it, it was very very, very useful. So here we go. So um, basically the design is this. I haven't got to the opacity part yet, but you can see that you've got this kind of fall off kind of behavior here where, or that's implied by the design. Um, and that's what I've got here. I haven't got to the opacity bit, um, but I won't do that in this tutorial. Um, so let's go to a new composition. And uh, basically I pulled in, I could have done this with this SVGs, but for the sake of this, I've done it with images because it was sort of easier. Uh, and I was like, okay, surely we need some kind of duplicate setup, but I've never done images in a duplicate before. How would this work? So I was like trying to, well, there's no output on this group here. How would I know? I, there must be some way to create an array of images or something. And I right clicked on this group and create array from assets and group. So you get a group array and then all of those are in there, which is fantastic. And if you want to move these around, you can reorder them with this function here. Really cool. Okay, so the next thing I did was I was I was like, okay, cool. So I want to create a duplicator and I want it to be linear and I want it to be uh, vertical and I want five parts to it. Um, uh, five. Um, so let's make this a bit bigger. So that's roughly what we want. And then I was like, okay, how do I pull this or the group array into that? Do you, there's no you can't pull that into there. So then I was like, okay, cool. Well, let me just get one image in. And if you pull an image in, what you get is a footage uh, shape. And then inside of that, that's powering the, uh, powered by a shader, which is the image. I, I haven't looked at this too much, so I'm explaining that badly, but basically you've got a footage shape, which is powered by an image shader, I think. Um, and that's why, and then so, so you see that there, right? Uh, why didn't you see that? Interesting. Oh, because it's behind the background shape. But, um, so then I was like, okay, so this can go into the duplicator, right? As the input shape. Um, but how do you get the array? And then I remembered actually, okay, this is the thing that we want to be powering with the array. So I pulled this, the group array into the HubSpot image shader and clicked file, and then you get that, right? So let's go to the duplicator now. Um, and do a uh, point three, uh, point three. <laughs> it should just, they should be always linked. Um, and then this needs to be hidden because that's the original source. So n that's the way that you would get images into a duplicator. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show with y'all because I, I didn't, I didn't know that before today. Um, and then let me go to my other composition. How did I do this? Again, this is if you're watching this and you're more experienced, uh, you'll probably find a much better way of doing this. This is what I did today. I just, you know, you know, when you're doing something, you're like, there must be a better way of doing this. Um, but this is what I did today. I just had uh, basically on the duplicator shape scale, I added a behavior of uh, just value, I think it was. And this is where I'm going to balls up the tutorial, but let's try this. Uh, and then what we want, let's do 0.4 so that they're all slightly bigger, or maybe 0.35. And then what we want is a fall off on that. So I'm going to add a fall off and we want the fall offs graph. Well, let's make it a bit bigger for the moment. And then we want the graph to be not that big. And we want it to come down sooner because if we have this later, you can see that the adjacent shapes are too big. So I'm going to pull that down a bit and then I might bring out the duplicators size a little bit and just sort of dial that in. And that's basically it. And then you can just basically dial in your values. So you want the value, the fall off graph, um, and probably some other things, but those are the, the primary ones. And then all I was doing was keyframing the, the Y position um, uh, with the entry. So let's pull that up. 
and let's watch that. Oh, there's no easing, so magic easing, slow, very slow in, very slow out. Pull that out. So that's our end state, and then we want probably that to be the um, first one, and that one to be the second, and then that to be the third. And again, yeah, so I wanted to end on HubSpot. So the way that I would do that is I would go to the group array and I would go to HubSpot and reorder move up one place. And then you have the order that you want. Whoa. Um, magic easing, very slow in. I think it just applies it, I forget. So, and again, that's really nice. So let's pull it out a tiny bit and let's increase the size of this a tiny bit. So, We want to go to the value and zero point when they point three nine, and then let's expand it a tiny bit. Okay, let's just look at it one more time, and then I'll leave you with this. Yeah, cool. So that's it. Short, unscripted cavalry tutorial. Let me know what you think. Cheers.